Hey everybody, Madrybred here, and this is my first look of The Tales of Bingwood. This is a game on Steam Greenlight right now, it hasn't come out yet at the time of recording this, but if you end up liking what you see today, then uh, check out the description where you can find a link to the Steam Greenlight page. I'm going to be playing a little bit of this game today. It's an adventure point-and-click game, kind of like the old Sierra and LucasArts games. Uh, so before I get into things, I'm going to do some disclaimers and talk about any biases I may have going into this, since people might make their purchasing decisions based on this. Um, if you want to just get straight to the gameplay, I'll have a time code on screen you can skip to. And also you'll notice here we have the version number in the top left, in case you want to track back the version numbers and see, you know, uh, what may have been added since then. First with the disclaimers, uh, most important, this is not a brand deal or paid promotion of any kind just in case you're wondering if someone paid me to do this video. Um, I'm doing this mostly because a fan told me about it and it seemed really cool. And then the fan went and told the developer that I said it was cool, I guess, because the developer actually contacted me then and gave me this test build of the game. And I thought it looked really cool because I'm a sucker for point and click adventure games. And last for the disclaimers, this is not the finished version of the game. Things like uh, what I've been told is 16 by 9 widescreen is going to be in the game before it's available for purchase on Steam. So if you're wondering what's with the borders on the side of the screen, it's because this test build is just standard definition, not widescreen yet. Uh, as for any biases I may have coming into this, in case you want to kind of take me as a reviewer in a way, um, I've had about a one or two hour long conversation with the developer of the game about both the game and, weirdly enough, Finnish politics, and we get along just fine, so I guess you could say we're friendly. Um, he actually started donating to my Patreon, although that was after I insisted I would do a video on this game for free and everything. So that seems to be more of a personal thing, but just so you know, that's a thing. And lastly, I grew up with point-and-click adventure games like King's Quest series and stuff, so I'm an absolute sucker for point-and-click adventure games, especially in this style. So take my opinion with a grain of salt here. If you're not into the same, like, you know, King's Quest or Monkey Island kind of things, then this may be your first foray into this kind of game. I don't know yet if the developer grew up with the Sierra games or the LucasArts games, but hey, if I get killed within 10 minutes and then the game makes a pun about it, then I'll know he grew up with King's Quest. <laughs> but uh, I think we can get started here. I have not played any of this yet, and I'm just going to play a little bit to kind of give you a teaser for the game. So let's see how this goes. Where am I? What's going on? I can't even move. I must be dreaming. Hello, me! I'm definitely dreaming. I've come from the future. I'm here to teach you the skills you will soon need. What could you possibly teach me? I am you. I mean, you are me. I will teach you the skills of the mouth, the eye, the foot, and the hand. Okay. Select the mouth icon, then click me to start a conversation. Okay, first thing I want to say, uh, this is already piquing my interest. Second, thank God you gave a tutorial because I bet you a lot of people nowadays have never played a Select game like this. Icon. Then click me to start a conversation. And, uh, and third, I didn't know this was going to be voice acted, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but now I regret not knowing about this game earlier, because I would have offered um, to do voice acting for it if interested, because I've been I've been practicing. Then click me to start a conversation. Uh, right. Yeah, mouth. Like this? Good work. Now choose a line from the list below. Oh, God, it's even like the same font and everything as uh, what was it? The, the scum engine? Was that the uh, the one used for these games? I don't remember, actually. Uh, oh, right. Isn't there like an adventure game studio nowadays? Whatever. I'm rambling. Uh, you know what? I should probably do the tutorial for those who uh, who haven't played these kinds of games. I'm getting a hang of this. Great. Once the line has been said aloud, it usually disappears from the list. Some lines, displayed in gray, may remain in the list. I'm bored. Can we move on? Fine. 
Use the eye in the same fashion. Take a look at that swordfish right behind you. Uh, now there's actually something I want to test, but I'll have to wait until I have another choice in a conversation for it. It looks familiar. I don't know why. It'll come to you, I'm sure. All right, get back here. It's time for your last lesson. The skill of the hand brings nearly everything within your reach. Behold! Wow! When do I learn that? That will have to wait, I'm afraid. The rest is up to you. Well, I think it's implied here. Hmm. That flower doesn't look too good. Here, take this. That flower is casting an enormous shadow. Then, click on the rose. Since I'm dreaming, this must be some kind of illusion as well. Oh, right hand. That's it. Good job. Um, I'm going to need that watering can back, if you don't mind. Why? Am I going to become a gardener in the future? That's none of your business. So, what's next? This is all you need to know for now. Also, it's time for me to go back. To the future. That was a clever way oh, yeah. of teaching combine right items. The mouse to cycle through all the skills. Right click, got it. Good. See you around. Ooh, walk. All right, we got control now. So, I don't really know anything about the game yet, and I have been told that there is no real clear stopping point, but I want to kind of give a teaser. I don't want to spoil the game for myself too much, because if I end up really liking this, uh, I might want to do a playthrough when it comes out. Keep off. What an odd place for a desk. Nothing special about them. It looks old and battered. Ooh. Perhaps I should give her something to break the ice. Oh, yeah. First impressions are always the lasting ones, so I should start with a good line. Is he getting me- Okay, good. Uh, here's where I can make a, I guess, a request for the finished version of the game. Um, all these dialogue options, none of them have a number next to it. They just have the little dash. Uh, I think that a lot of uh, 80s and 90s PC gamers will agree with me. I'm sure there are a few out there, at least, that uh, did this as well. When I have dialogue options like this in games, often I'll click the number keys, um, specifically not the numpad ones, the one on the along the top of the keyboard. I'll click those instead of using my mouse to click on the icons. If you were to give like a 1, 2, 3, and 4 beside all of those and map them up to the 1, 2, 3, and 4 keys, I bet you a lot of players would actually use that. I'm sure it's not the biggest deal in the world, but something I'd like. So I'm actually going to test to see if it's mapped up. Um, well, I have to go with line number one because it's funny. So let me hit one. So you're It is mapped. Huh? Okay. I mean, uh... Huh? What? I guess it's time to get up. That was one weird dream. I really should have closed my door. That's how you well, get ants. I have to run. I'm late already. Oh. Uh, no, I, I want to check out the house a little bit. No, it's not going to let me right now. It's probably because he's in a hurry. There's a note on the wall, though. Whatever. I should go. I'm already late. With the blessing of their majesties, the king and queen. What's going on? What did I miss? You should have been here in time. The royal proclamations are always proclaimed at midday. Yeah, well, my alarm didn't go off. Who are you anyway? My name is Tom. Tom Brandt Driftwood. Driftwood? Why does that sound familiar? My father often delivers fish to the royal castle. That must be it. Anyway, this doesn't concern you, Driftwood. Give the lot a chance. I mean, do we have any other volunteers? I'm on. Oh, but I just received an order for 1,000 horseshoes. I would gladly risk my life had I not scheduled an inventory for this week. I can't leave the inn unattended. Some patrons have paid good money in advance. I've got all kinds of pressing business. Wait the grind. 
milling about to do. If we were going to send anyone on a rescue mission, I'd put my money on the fisherman's boy here. Rescue? Who needs rescuing? It's Princess Liliana! What? She's been nabbed by the evil wizard. And of all the days, it's the king's and queen's anniversary! It is quite peculiar. Evil wizard is mostly harmless, unless provoked. Uh... I wouldn't know about that. I guess it's settled then. It appears you've been chosen for the task, Tom. Yay! Yeah. Conscription! Gotta love the king. To save a princess. Oh. I must have just blacked out for a moment. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. So when that when that turns green is when I have control. Okay. Well, that looks like an op Oh, it automatically knows that I want to look at it? Or Okay. That's totally interesting. Gross by the twinkling. So what is it? Someone has dropped a key? Well. Uh-oh. Hey! Come back! Hmm. In a nutshell, it reads, blah, 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 save the princess, get the reward. Yay! I also now have the uh, meowing cat beneath my chair, and if it gets too loud, I may have to, uh, I don't know, relocate her. To Shady Forest. So I was told that this game is going to be episodic. I think it was just two big chapters, and apparently this build, although not, like, finished in terms of, you know, it might still have bugs or technical things to work out, it is actually the entire first chapter of the game. Hedge clippers. Use to clip hedges. Too rusty to be of much use as they are. I think it's kind of a good idea to have a game like this where it's really, really story-driven to be episodic, because then you can just buy the first one for cheap and see if you like it and if you don't like it then you don't need to get the second one there it is uh huh do i want the clippers i mean it is an adventure game i probably want to grab everything i'll just slip it in my pocket uh <laughs> do i want a sack of parsnips to be lifted up. that's okay i probably shouldn't steal it's that from whoever shovel. whoever lives here anyway Oh, I thought I was going to just whack it in the head with a shovel. All right, well. It's locked. I thought I was going to knock. Can I look in the window? No? Okay. Well, I think we have a clear starting objective. It's not that scary if you ask me. Oh. But then I'm not a crow. <laughs> nice touch on its face. It is a scare crow. I don't need to take the whole thing. Uh, okay. I don't need to take the whole thing. Can I use hedge clippers? Dull and rusty. Quite useless. Can I use hedge clippers to clip some straw out? That's not going to work. No. Well, he, he says he doesn't want to take the whole thing, but that makes me think that we want part of it. The face is simply made of a pair of novelty glasses. I can't help but think that they would be useful. There we go, that's what we want. Hopefully no one will miss him. And once again, this is a point-and-click adventure game, so we are basically a kleptomaniac. It's the village farmer, Gaston Granberry. He has a monopoly on grain and vegetables. Ah, the brave volunteer! Oh yeah, about that. I feel like I really want to keep playing this game, at least until we know why it's called Bingwood. And our last character's name is Driftwood. I mean, there's got to be some relation there. Uh, I have no idea how. Actually, I have no idea as to how to rescue the princess. Hmm, the wizard lives somewhere beyond the Shady Forest. That's where I would be heading. Shady Forest? Are you serious? I'm sure you'll do well, lad. Let me know if there's anything I can do. On top of borrowing those tools you pocketed. Uh, thanks. You know, whenever this farmer's voice gets into the into the lower tones, it sounds a little bit like Deckard Kane from Diablo. I'm kind of nervous about the reward for the rescue. 
What's there to be nervous about? Half the kingdom and the hand of the princess in marriage. It's the stuff all fairy tales are made of, including this one. I have no <laughs> <problem> <laughs> <with> <laughs> <the> <laughs> <human> <laughs> part, but uh, okay. Uh, how can I marry the princess? I don't even know her. I mean, what if she's an egomaniacal control freak? What if she doesn't even like me? Isn't it egomaniacal? What if she's the toothpaste from the middle. That is okay. That was actually a good line. However, sure. However, um, yeah, I believe it's egomaniacal, not ego man. Man, I don't even know what he said. I'll play the the clip back now. Yeah, that's what he said. That's not the right thing to say. Already hate my character. Zero out of ten game. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm. These are the questions I would have. Family yet? Something tells me that's not going to be a problem. Yes, you may be right. It's a good point. I actually didn't think of that. I'm not sure if I'm mature enough to marry yet. Ah, oh, don't let it bother you too much. I try not to. Enough about this. I should get going. Good luck, lad. I like how my character is equally hey. as. Oh. Be careful out there. Yeah. Apparently, the shack on the cliff is no longer abandoned. Okay, thanks. Well, that was vague. You could have told me what lives there now. Then I might decide to not go to the shack. Anyway, what I was saying is I like how my character is equally as probably responsibly boring as I would be in this situation. I like that. Well. Wind is rustling the leaves from time to time. But why does it only happen on this one spot? Well, it's either because this is going to be a great joke or the game is going to kill me and throw a pun at me. So I'm just going to go ahead and use hedge clippers on the shrub. The clippers are too dull uh, and rusty. Even I thought a single that, twig would be too much for him. I thought that was going to be a solution. We need to find some Coca-Cola to de-rust these. What about uh, glasses? Can I wear those right now? Tom? Who is this Tom? Oh. Total change of character in a second. Gotta love it. It's too dense to get through. Wind is rustling the leaves, but why? Okay, I think that's a problem for later. Let's just uh, go up the place it's telling us to not go to. Some shabby fellow. He's drafting something on the parchment. Now, I don't think he's going to like that, uh, that I've trespassed. <clears throat> nice dog, you gotta run. Nice talking to you, gotta run. Doesn't even respond. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, wow, I got a lot of options here. Did you happen to hear about the kidnapping? What did you say? Kidnapping. The princess has been seized by the evil wizard. That's terrible! They are sending a rescue team, I hope. Yep, you're looking at it. I see. Well, if you need any help, I am willing to do my part. Thanks, I'll get back to you on that. Oh my god, I would have loved it if he... Oh, well, apparently that was to skip all of the other stuff. Um, <laughs> I would have loved it if they just replayed the voice clip of him saying that's terrible when I said that I'm the rescue party. Nice talking to you. Gotta run. Okay, well... I thought he was gonna hate my guts. No. Oh. That's not going to work. Oh. Perhaps not. Oh. Ooh. A ledge is protruding from the cliffside. If only I had a rope. And something to stake it to the ground. Or I could just tie it to that guy, or probably more responsibly, run it through one window and out through the other to make a big loop. Uh, regardless, I don't think I have the solution to this puzzle right now. This particular type of moss seems to flourish here. 
If you think it's bad on the outside, you don't want to look inside. Can I... can I go in? Nah, I would just get all moldy and slimy. Huh. Alright. I think this is not where I need to be right now. Can I use my shovel on that, maybe? No, that's not going to happen. I kind of like that he told me while I was walking, so I didn't waste my time. Okay, well, that mustn't be the way to go right now. The field has been plowed recently. Hmm. Okay, well, we haven't gone to the right yet. Can I actually... Ooh, I can just hold left click to keep walking. That's nice. Crossroads and shop. Well, we don't have money, but... Oh, right, it's here. Oh. Hey, kid! Can I have a word? Is his shirt ripped? Yes? I seem to have lost the shed key. And I won't be able to complete the inventory without it. You haven't seen it around, have you? I might have. Had a glimpse. If you do find it, uh, please bring it to me. I will offer a reward for it. Alrighty. Well, at least now I know why I'm looking for the key. Well, well. If it isn't my favorite fisherman boy in the village. You know, that whole uh, meeting of the baiting was a clever way to get us to meet each character. I like that. It's Lamy Turnip, the town miller. He's... If it's grinding you need, he's your man. Now he probably just thinks we're he weird. He talk one's arm off. Probably thinks we're weird now because we're talking about him directly in front of him after he greeted us. Hi, Lamy. Hi, indeed. What a wonderful day, is it not? The birds are shining, the sun is singing. The princess is kidnapped. Oh, yeah. I knew there was something. This guy needs a mustache. It's a crime to have a beard with no mustache. Oh, yes. Talk my ear off, please. What's the latest gossip? As you know, I never repeat gossip. So listen carefully the first time. All right. Good thing this is on a good thing this is on a let's play show so everything's recorded. How are the king and queen taking the recent happenings? From what I hear, they haven't left the throne room since the incident, which is quite peculiar. The guards are keeping very quiet about the whole deal. I would have called it an ordeal, but I guess I'm not the miller. What do you know about the evil wizard? Not enough to be of much help. They said he never leaves his cape without his monstrous henchmen. Monstrous? Yeah. A gruff hairy bork with big tusks and a short temper. I bet you he's nicer than he seems, because it's an adventure game. How come the royal guard didn't stop the wizard? It's not that they didn't try. Once the princess was seized, the Malay factors vanished in a cloud of brimstone. The next sighting of the group was at the bridge toll booth. Gaston the farmer? Do you have anything on Gaston the farmer? Oh, Gaston. Oh, good old Gaston. His Isn't that how you pronounce How you spell Gaston? Since the whole broken mill wheel incident. Out on a future meal say on screen. Do you know anything about the hermit living up the cliff? Hermit, huh? I wonder. Hmm. Try asking someone at the castle. Just a hunch, I'm afraid. That's all the gossip I could take in for now. Alrighty then. Have you heard anything about the kidnapping? Since you asked, the town crier spilled some details while you were otherwise engaged. He said that the king himself had invited the wizard in the castle. Apparently, his help was needed in the preparations for the royal anniversary ball. Then something went wrong. I see. You know, uh, I just started thinking about this now. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. So far, every character we've talked to, so far as my terrible memory is telling me at least, has had a very general North American accent. And they're very convincing at that. And I know that the uh, the main creator of this game is Finnish, so I wonder if they actually are just wicked awesome at American accents, or if they hired voice actors uh, who specifically do American accents or happen to have that as their natural accent. How is the grinding business treating you? Oh, splendid. Just great. Quite all right. Not bad. The old faithful is producing flour by the ton. 
broken. Or at least was until the millstone cracked. Yes. What? When was that? Well, I suppose it's been a fortnight. Heavens, how time flies. Haven't you tried to replace the millstone? Sure, I ordered a new one almost right away. It should arrive in a couple of weeks' time. That is, if they manage to fix the bridge to the village by then. I'll keep an eye out for millstones for you. Thanks, much appreciated. Somehow I get the feeling I'm going to have to figure out a way to repair that bridge. And it will be goofy how I do it. I'd better get saving the princess. See you! I love adventure games. Oh. Oh, God, you know what? This right here, this whole scene right here, you know what it looks just like to me? That old Robin Hood point-and-click adventure game. Was that a Sierra one? I think that was a Sierra one. What was that one called? Ah, crap. Quest for the Longbow? Future me will put it on screen if that was the correct one, but man, that was a really fun one, but brutally hard point-and-click adventure. But yeah, this um, this screen here looks just like that game. Here's a well, more cartoony. Of an unflinching military precision. But, you know, the, the layout of the whole setup of the screen is very similar. He has an aura of stern alertness. All right, well, let's talk to them. Do you know anything about the hermit up the cliffside? Hermit? No, I don't think so. Brown hair and beard, ragged clothes, constantly sketching something? Sketching? That reminds me of a military engineer we used to have around. Hmm. Young Lord Allen Cutlass, I think they called him. One morning he was missing at the muster. No one knows where he is. That's interesting. Now that was useful information. That's what you get for starting from the bottom and going up. Your fellow guard seems a bit drowsy. Yeah. I'd report him if I wasn't having so much fun bugging him. He always comes up with some pretty good excuses. Roderick. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sleeping, was I? They told me at the blood bank this might happen. <sighs> you know, it takes talent to fall asleep standing up like that. I'm here on business. I was called in the castle. Yeah? Hmm. Well, I don't have a fish. Sweep the stables. Hey, that might work. I'm here to sweep the stables. As far as I know, a castle has no stables. Uh, well, not dredge the moat, because the moat's out here. I'm here to weed the garden. The royal gardener has been doing a good job at that. I'm sorry, do you think that you know more about the garden than your king who hired me? I'm here to recalibrate the arrow slits. Say what? I don't know. It just sounded professional. I do find it humorous that I'm able to just say everything. He doesn't just say, no, get out of here. I'm here to revarnish the royal thrones. Right. I'm here to dredge the moat. Go ahead, then. There is no need to go inside for that, is there? Called it. I'm here to deliver fish to the kitchen. The royal treasury is currently holding up all payments. The fish is free. Is that so? That can't be good for the business. I guess you can go through that. That one worked. I'm going to have to go ahead and ask you to show the merchandise uh, first. I called that too. Ah, uh, seems I forgot to bring it along. Don't you just hate it when that happens? In any case, I can't let you through. This guy's a lot less gruff than I thought he'd be. I need an audience with the king. His Majesty is not granting any audiences today. But it's about the kidnapping. That's the same reason why His Majesty is not granting any audiences. Okay. I'm gonna mosey. I guess I don't even know why I need in there yet. Hello. Huh? Could I just doze off there? Just a quick power nap. Oh, okay. I'm probably gonna have to find a way to keep him awake. Ooh. He looks eager to serve. Dear Bridge users, 
The toll fees have been decoupled to cover the bridge rebuilding expenses. We apologize for inconvenience. It's the map of the village. It might prove useful. I suppose there are no tourists around who'd need it more. I'm just gonna steal that. Ooh. Ooh, can I fast travel with this? Oh, that is so useful! Wish more adventure games had that. Well, I guess Prince Alexander had his teleporting map in King's Quest 6, I think it was? But that's not the same thing. How can I be of assistance, young man? Open the gate! I'm on an official princess rescue mission! I can just walk oh, around no, it. You are. Nonetheless, the gate stays closed until the toll has been duly paid! This is a grave insult. The king will hear about this. Is that so? The royal heralds always carry an official missive. Stamped with the king's seal. Can I see yours? Uh, I left it in my other pants. I feel like I could just walk this way around the booth and he would never even see me. Or across the hill. Really, there are a lot of solutions to this, but it's an adventure game, so I'm probably gonna have to find some other solution. Which probably involves either paying the toll or messing with his glasses, because that's a prominent feature on his character. Fine then, how much for a single one-way crossing? Under the circumstances, the proper fee has been calculated at... 10 silver crowns. What? That's an outrage! Wow, it's still the cheapest you're going to find! Hmm... What's with the huge price increase? As it happens, there was an incident with a pale foreign-looking individual. He flatly refused to pay toll for his retinue, and finally laid waste to the bridge itself after crossing. The bridge maintenance crew is funded from the toll bridge, Hence, the fee is slightly elevated at the moment. How is the work on the bridge coming along? The funds are coming together very slowly. The flow of tourists have drastically diminished of late. Well, you know, if the toll was lower, more people might use it. So you're not going to let me just go through? No, unless you provide me with ten silver crowns or a royal missile. I still think you're making a terrible mistake. I will eventually come to terms with it, I'm sure. I feel like I should pretend to be a carpenter so I can walk past. I mean, I did pretend to be about ten other professions with the Royal Guard. What keeps people from just walking past the gate anyway? Many have tried, but I never fail to stop them. Hawkeye, they call me. They do? They do. I must be going. Have a superior day. All right. Well, where haven't I been? I couldn't go to the right at the mill, could I? Let's go to the shop because I think I could go. Yeah, to the right is the bridge. Because this is a functional bridge. This bridge has been standing here as long as I remember. It's a good bridge. No trolls living under this bridge, which is strange for an adventure game. Smooth Water River has quite a swift current. In Ocent. Oh, that's good. That's the first pun of the game. The vines have grown thick and strong. Given enough time, they might cover the whole side of the building. Minecraft reference, am I right? I'm hip to the kids nowadays. It's totally a Minecraft reference. I'm taller than that door. Avast me, hearties. Look what the wind blew in. <laughs> this scene crowd. also Please looks familiar. Arr, just some buckley banter. Bring us another jug of rum, won't you, lass? <laughs> Lady, this is what happens when you don't know how to do business and you have literally one table in your tavern. They must be some keepsakes from the past. 
Miss Welt used to be a pirate before she took up innkeeping. Hi, Miss Welt. Hello, Dom. I get the thing I'm too young to drink, but... How much for a drink? What should it be? Oh. Could I just get an empty mug? I don't really have one to spare. Okay. Oh, that would have been a good adventure game item. Water, please. I might not be a pirate anymore, but I'm still a dignified bartender. If it's water you want, the river is just outside. Oh, I was hoping that she'd give us a glass of water, but not an empty one. I'll have what they're having. Premium spice rum shipped from the southern kingdom? Um, yes. I'm gonna need some ID for that. Crap. Um, forget it. Got milk? Don't got milk. Ooh, that is a bad reference. Ginger ale. That'll be a quarter of a crown, thank you. Uh, I don't have that much on me. It's your call. On second thought, I'm not really thirsty. <sighs> Can I help you to get rid of them pirates? It might be best for you not to annoy them. But there might be something you could do to help. How are your map reading skills? Um, average? Good enough. Here, take this. It leads to a chest I buried when I moved in a village. I have a shovel. A treasure map? Yeah, you could say that. I can't leave the inn unattended for a long time. So I need you to find the chest and bring it back to me. Aye, aye, Captain. So why would we want to get rid of the pirates exactly? They're her only customers. I like what you've done with the place. Thanks. I've used some mementos to liven it up. The figurehead is from the old ship. The blue wall paint was among some swag liberated from a Bravian merchantman. The cutlery and glasses I just got from Ikea. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. What a lovely bunch of mariners you have visiting. Mariners! I must apologize for their behavior. They belong to my former crew. Hi, laddie. Hope we didn't hurt your, what be they called, feelings. <laughs> One would think meeting old friends would be an inferior event. Now, joke's on him. It's gonna take him 20 minutes to reload that damn thing. They were in your crew? I captained the Morbid Mermaid. The most feared schooner sailing the southern seas. What made you change the pirate life to running an inn? It's hard to say, really. After I lost count of the number of galleons we pillaged, the novelty somewhat wore off. One day, I just felt like doing something completely different. Yeah, I know the also, feeling. I've played Caribbean, too. Having a sword for it. Well, that first turn in the bathroom. How is the innkeeping business treating you? Not bad at all. However, ever since the reunion, most of the rooms have been empty. People tend to find the unretired types of pirates slightly intimidating. Why don't you just ask them to leave? As I'm no longer their captain, they don't take me seriously anymore. Get out of here, you scurvy, build-sucking wolf rats! Hey, come on now, me lass. That kind of language be not fit for a pretty maid, let alone a landlubber. <laughs> <laughs> see? Hmm, I see we're dealing with magic pirates that don't need to reload. Well, I guess it makes sense. I mean, they, they haven't refilled their cups once since we got here. I was actually thinking that maybe she should dual wield the cutlasses above the door, and I'll take the other one in the mermaid's hand and we just duel them, but uh, that's seeming like a worse and worse idea the more I think about it. However, I do notice that this cutlass looks... I don't know. It looks like more time was put into drawing this one than those ones, which makes me think I might be able to take that. Let's talk about something else. I'm off then. Can I... No, can't even look at the cutlass itself. Whoa, that's one creepy looking mermaid. Hmm, perhaps not. No, can't take the cutlass? All right. Stop right there. I want the payment for the rooms up front. Okay. 
I was just exploring, lady. He looks quite intimidating. That's one mean-looking buccaneer. The leader of the gang by the looks of him. Sorry to bother you, mister. Tis some squirmy lover squeaking into me ear. <laughs> well, you don't need to be a dick about it. Run along now, laddie. Excuse me, sir. He be wasting your time talking to old Biff. He ain't talking much since he lost his tongue. Lost his tongue? Aye. He liked to eat his fish raw. But one time he didn't check if the fish be dead first. <laughs> well, at least he finds humor in it. I guess laugh through the pain. May I have a word, good sir? What is it, laddie? I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. I be Blackjack Morgan, captain of the Grand Noxious Serpent. The bald buccaneer be Marty Cutter, the ship's bossin. And the silent sea dog here be Thirsty Biff. He be very choosy about what he drinks. Hey, he must be liquid! <laughs> well, he's surprisingly nice, actually. You like to joke around then, huh? Er, a short life and merry, that be the seafaring hearty's life. Ye be having any merry tales or jests to share? Well... Uh, huh... Oh, this looks like it might be good. What is the difference between a catfish and a pirate? One is a bottom-dwelling, scum-sucking scavenger, and the other is a fish. Oh, you're an idiot, kid! Uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, okay, that was lucky! I be taking a liking to this lad. He be having anything else for us? Personally, I'd have ducked as soon as I saw him reach for the pistol on that one. What did the fish say when it swam into a wall? Damn! <laughs> Only him? Why did the fish cross the sea? To get to the other tide. <laughs> oh, come on, that was good. I caught this huge fish last week. Hey! It was so big I nearly dislocated my shoulder just describing it. <laughs> okay, that one was weak. Is that all you've got? I can't think of anything right now. No. Oh. Do you have any stories to share? Hey, tell me one of my bottomless. Hey. Bloody bird must they call them a grand sea roving captain. Ne'er did stormy seas or buccaneer hunters get the best of his lads. Every morning he locks himself in his quarters and stares at piece of paper for a minute. The crew gets curious about the odd paper. Be it the booty map, be it the letter of lost love. One morning, the captain didn't wake up. After lying the captain's body to rest, the crew looks for the paper in the captain's quarters. The first mate turns pale and shows the paper to the others. Four words beyond the paper, two lines with two words each. Port left, starboard right. <laughs> I noticed the uh, Barbaros or whatever line near the beginning got cut off slightly. That was weird. How does one actually become a pirate? Hmm. To become a pirate, you'll have to go through the three trials. The three trials. Uh, what are those? The trials every pirate must pass. Ye must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay! Hey! There's no way in the world I'm gonna stop by and watch you recruit the boy. Tis the boy who asked. All the same. Sorry, lad. Can't help you. Oh, but they'll listen to her on that. So, what brings you to Bingwood? Oh, Bingwood's the uh, area. We decided to take a break from all the plundering. 
and pay a little visit to an old friend. Miss Well? Captain, we used to call the lass. Now it'd be more like... Well... <laughs> I'm off to seek my fortune. Fair winds, lad. So, I feel like we've set up the beginnings of a lot of puzzles today. We don't know the solution to many of them. We haven't actually solved many puzzles yet, but we have a lot of intrigue, a lot of things we have to do. We need to follow a treasure map to dig up a treasure chest to bring back to her, probably to maybe pay off or scare off the pirates. There's a bridge that needs repairing. We need money for a toll. We need to find a fish to get past the royal guards to get to see the king, to get information about the kidnapping. We need to find a way to get to a rope, to get to the crow, to get to the key, to give to the uh, storekeep. We have a lot of things to do, and that's why I think this is probably a good time to end this video. If you want to see the Tales of Bingwood on Steam, check out the description to find the page where you can vote it yes on wanting to uh, have it come out over on Greenlight. I already have. Uh, if you enjoyed this first look, I want to do more in the future, so I'll probably put a playlist for it in the description, because I have, I have a lot of games I could probably do this with, and I had a lot of fun with this one. And uh, I think when this game comes out, I'm probably going to do a full playthrough of it. I'm probably going to wait until maybe a month or two after it comes out so people have time to play it themselves and kind of experience the games for themselves. But I definitely want to play more of this because this is already right up my alley and I haven't played something like this in a really long time. So uh, thank you everybody for watching and until next time, have a nice day.